good everyone welcome to my youtube channel we've got a dell laptop here to fix dell latitude e5450 the problem of this laptop it has no power it has no power like the customer said it has no power okay so let's check together here's the charger charger plug in there's no light you see here over here you're supposed to have the charging light or the orange light over here and there is nothing okay so what we need to do now we need to open it up and check together what could be the problem okay the back cover is out okay there's the, the battery Oh, it's like this battery is bad. Swollen. Okay. We need to get access to the board so that we can read some uh, voltage on the power supplies. Okay. Let's take out the screws quickly. By the way, thanks to everyone who have subscribed to my channel. And if you are watching this video now, you haven't subscribed, please kindly subscribe. For more repair videos like this, okay. Okay, let's take out the hard drive. Okay, that's the hard drive. Five hundred gig. Oh, there are a lot of screws to take out on this laptop as you can see okay over here let's click connector okay so i think uh okay let's check here oh it has a lot of screws a lot a lot on this laptop okay. okay i think that's all let's check on the other side if we can take out the keyboard let's take out the keyboard Let's take out the keyboard quickly. No. I'm a bit worried if there is a. I said it. There's a screw on the keyboard. It's more or less like the Lenovo laptops. There are screws you need to lose before you can take out the keyboard. Okay, there are screws you need to lose on the keyboard. That's Lenovo Latitude E5450. That's the modern number. That's the modern number. So let's disconnect this keyboard from the back. Okay. Okay, there you go. The keyboard is out. Okay. Let's see if we can open it up now to get more access. Okay, I think there's a screw here to lose. But the laptop has a lot of screws on it. Has a lot of screws on it. Yeah. Over here, I think on the up part here. 
Okay. Also on this side. Okay, there's one more screw here. It has a lot of screws, a lot. When I said a lot, I mean a lot. Okay, at least we've got parts of the board. But part of the board. And the board doesn't look clean at all. Okay, so I've disconnected the CMOS. The board doesn't look clean. I think what we need to do, we're going to take out the board from the case so that we can get access also to the other side of the board. I see they've tried to fix this laptop before. They've tried to fix it already. Okay. Dell. Laptop. But a lot of things you need to take out of this laptop for getting access to the board. That's a lot of work. Eh? It has a lot of. Okay, the stream is out. So we can have access to the board itself. Okay. Like I said, the board doesn't look clean at all. Doesn't look clean. Doesn't look clean. Okay, I think there's something else to take out from the back. Okay. The Wi-Fi card. And the 3G card. Them out as well. Okay. Let's see now. We'll be able to get access to this board. be able to get access to this board okay over here cpu fan okay what else is holding this board there is something else holding this board okay okay i think the the connector As it finally we have the board. Finally we have the board. We have the board. Okay. Okay, let's just let's just clean the board quickly. Like I said, it's not looking clean at all. Okay. 
the pot is not looking clean. Okay, remember what I did. You need to clear the simos. I'm just quickly doing that. Okay. You know why? It might be a frozen BIOS. It might be a frozen BIOS. This. You see what I did now? If this laptop is a frozen BIOS, we should be able to get the, the power, okay? Okay. Connected. Here's the charger. Charger. Connected. Did you see that? Did you see that? Check on the power supply. It's gonna reset. It's gonna restart now. Check on the power supply. Zero point forty forty one milliamp. Okay. The CPU is getting warm a little bit. Okay. That if it's a frozen bias. I see that they've worked on this board before. Let's see together. There's something here which I'm seeing here. Putting two capacitors together. I wonder who did that. It came in like this. Did you see that? Let's grab the multimeter. Negative pro to ground. Do you see here? There's no reading, maybe ground. Over here, 18 volts. There's two caps here, which is short together. So they are on parallel line. They are both on parallel line. Okay. Okay. So it's fine. So what we're going to do now, let's check for display. Here's the screen. Here's the screen. Let's check for display. Okay. There you go. Now Charger connected again. Okay. Charger connected. So we have to press the power button. Power button. The laptop is on. There you go. We have display now. So the problem of this laptop, it was a frozen BIOS. It was a frozen BIOS. You can see that on the screen. It's asking for the original charger and that the battery is not detected. Did you see that? Okay. okay. Let's plug in the battery now to see if it will charge the battery. Okay. Powered off again. Okay. Like I said, don't forget frozen BIOS. And this battery, the battery is not looking good. As you can see, it's like it's swollen. There's no need to test the battery. Did you see this? Not a good battery. This cell is dead. Do you see the difference? 
between these two. See, this one is so swollen. I don't think there's need to test this battery, but uh, it's not gonna work. One cell is dead, so I'll just tell the customer to replace the battery, then it's good to go. Okay, let's test again because I don't think there's any point for me putting this laptop together while the video is still on. Okay, let's test together again. Charger connected. Then powered on. The laptop is on now. There you are. Got a display on the screen. Okay, I think I will stop this video now. I will stop this video now. There's no point for me putting it together while the video is on. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like this video. Like I said, frozen bios. Don't forget frozen bios. Okay? See you on the next video. Bye bye.